If we, if we were live streaming, that'd be a disaster. But this is episode seven of Inside the Toy Box. We're talking word off today. Because it's a word off. Yeah. Kind of day. This is the uh, brainstorming team that came up with a majestic name, Word Off. Almost, yeah. Per- oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Today's kind of special, though. We are, we are broadcasting, podcasting, recording inside the tequila room. It was recently dubbed by the holiday party. This is the tequila room. <laughs> As opposed to all other rooms being the not tequila room. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's how we know where we're at. Yeah. So, um, that crunching you hear is also Christian eating a salad. Which looks delicious. I mean, what, what kind of salad is that? It's a Wunsoon salad. Ooh, I don't, I don't know what's in that, but <laughs> it looks good. Steamed That's glass noodles, cucumbers, some, some lettuce. Rabbit food, basically, Rabbit food. is what's in there. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Let's talk about Word Off. Let's, let's just jump right into it. Let's just, let's just say who's here. I, I mean, Oh, God, Ryan. I forgot to do the introductions, yeah, didn't I? Did. I figure everybody knows us, except you, except because me, you never... Because I never partake in And who, who is you? <laughs> <laughs> well... I am Evan Gilbert. I am a uh, friend. Never, never uh, give out your last name. Oh, it. is that a rule of podcasting? Or I just don't know. No, it's, it's cool. Now you just get anonymous uh, naked okay. pictures sent to you. So my mailing address is... Chris, what's your mailing address? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yes, I am Evan. No last name. I am a front-end software engineer here at Toy Studio. And over the past few months... I've pretty much solely been working on Word Off, which we are going to be discussing in plenty. Yes, and if you haven't heard about Word Off or read about it, uh, there's some blog posts on our website about it. Because it's cool. So, uh, let's start at the beginning with Word Off, because it had an interesting origin, superhero origin story. Superhero origin story? Yeah, it was like the late, the late summer. So let's go, let's go in the time machine here. It was late summer, and uh, Evan's like, hey, I've got an idea. Hey Ryan, come come to the the war room. I've got an idea. Christian's away. <laughs> I was away. <laughs> well, you were. I was well, away. actually, how it started is Chris and I were were talking about a type of game we wanted to make, and Chris had somewhere he had to go for a week, and we came up with this great starting concept in like mm-hmm. maybe a twenty minute conversation we had at Chris's desk, and then Chris left me for a week. Yeah, and I really wanted to get started on this, so I just went ahead and got started with him because how I roll. And so, who did I go to find but Ryan to help me uh, do some initial playtesting, which is really fun. That was an awful idea. <laughs> it, well, yeah, you know, maybe. I think it worked out just fine, personally. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we um, you essentially created the, the whole game out of some spare word games we have in the office, and a whiteboard. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Basically, for every game of this we tried to play, <laughs> it started off with me spending about two hours drawing the game on a <laughs> dry erase board, which <laughs> was probably the worst decision I've ever made. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was it was fine. We just had to be very careful with the eraser. <laughs> and so anyways, we spent about a week bringing in different people and doing some just initial play testing and, you know, figuring out what we liked, what we didn't like. And... Um, you know, it was an interesting process. Uh, we ended up with a, a bunch of things that were we quickly decided were just too complicated, you know, and uh, took away from the base fun. And uh, luckily, this was all done in a fashion that I basically could just go back to my desk and think about something for an hour and then grab another set of people, you know, right afterwards and go try again and say, hey, is this better? Yeah. Because that's a pretty awesome way to go about designing a game, if you ask me. And then I got back from uh, whatever week long thing uh, and said this game sucks and completely scrapped it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's that's not what happened though. You well, ass. Yeah. I, I, the thing is that uh, at heart, the twenty minute conversation was probably the most pivotal and uh, more more important uh, part of the project, where we really laid down the mantra for what we want the game to be, and that was uh, that. We really enjoyed word games, um, but we don't particularly like when we're absolutely um, just demolished in them because somebody has a bigger vocabulary than Mm. another person. Yeah, like I I grew up, um, you know, I'm not gifted (laughs) with fabulous spelling. I'm a software engineer. I mean, (laughs) yeah, that's a given. Uh, My mother, however, on the other hand, is like an insane word sleuth. So, you know, I grew up with the whole notion of basically being afraid of a Scrabble board 
because of how demeaning I would get, I'm <laughs> demolished I would get by my mother. Demeaning, uh, demolished. Demeaning, it was... Freudian slip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Working out family issues right now. <laughs> yep. Thanks for helping me out, guys. Uh, this actually was an intervention. <laughs> <laughs> this recording device is actually not on. <laughs> No, I mean, you know, so it's just kind of funny because, you know, in my later years it got to the point where I might be hanging out with my family and, you know, my mother would suggest, let's play Scrabble, and I would probably basically just run away. <laughs> and uh, the fact of the matter is is that there's so much to a word game that um, is beneficial to, you know, people who <laughs> might share my dislike for, you know, spelling and Scrabble uh, that we could access here. And that was one of the things that Chris and I talked about right off the bat is that there should be thing you know, you know, there should be things that appeal to people who have amazing vocab and love games like Scrabble, while at the same time we can find other play ways to appeal to people that you know are more kind of uh, you know strategists and love kind of finding great ways to do simplistic things that end up resulting in tons of points or you know things like that. Yeah, and so that was kind of the initial main goal we had. Yeah, so so. You know, we when, whenever we talked about it, it really transcended down into, hey, it's sort of like Boggle and Scrabble combined with Risk. And that's sort of like the description that we gave ourselves uh, a lot. Uh, and then uh, shortly afterwards, um, Coral launched and we were like, ah! Yeah. Nah. But, um, but the, the, really good, the really cool thing about Coral is that it took that mantra and took it in a completely different direction that we were thinking. So we we still had like an awesome time with Coral and weren't really just hard in at all. We were actually sort of um, intrigued and reassured because it, you know, it validated the idea that there is um, not a need, but, you know, a, a definite attraction to a game that could combine both elements. Yeah, right. You know, the, the big distinction between word off and quarrel would basically be the, the kind of boggle concept of, of how you're, you know, interacting with the opponent, you know, what the game space is, if you will. Right. Um, and, and, and certainly one of the questions that I at least had in the beginning was, you know, is risk, is a risk st style element really something that people that traditionally like word games are even interested in? Right. And to me, that's one of the things that, you know, quarrel showed me is that, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, they are interested in that. <laughs> I think, I think the biggest thing that we took away from, um, the risk style play is more so the physical games, the physical game space in which you play in, mm -hmm. um, giving it uh, s some sort of a persistence. Um, maybe not in to the extent of like the content of what those tiles are, mm -hmm. but the ownership slash control of what those tiles are, and that's something that like we really, really, really like playing with because it was it was one of those things where. Just because you made bigger words doesn't didn't necessarily mean that you were winning better at the game. Um, and in in the earlier versions, we had we had things such as like uh, these points that would accrue for how many territories you would own. That's and, right. <laughs> yeah, it was very. We had big yeah. battle points system, and it was yeah. it was a nightmare to calculate, and just was clearly <laughs> not any good. <laughs> it was. It was one of those things where, like, you were having fun because you saw yourself sort of making words over other people's words. And you were like, oh, wow, like, I just, like, completely controlled this area of the tile where you used to have control. And I love that. And, you know, I'm better than you. But nobody really understood how they were earning points. Yeah, like, like, like when it got down to the end of the game and somebody was actually like, oh, geez, like, you know, I need to think about how I'm going to score the most points <laughs> just the, the flow of trying to figure out what we were going to do based on that was just clearly too far too complicated yeah. how many revisions do you think it went through before even a single line of code was put down hmm. i mean there was a lot i mean there was at least five that i know i sat through hmm. yeah i mean we did we also did a fair amount of uh, teetering over certain points so you know, I don't know if I would go to say that it was as, as high a revision count as much as it was a, you know, oh, we've come up with these two different kind of ideas. Let's let's play a few games on each and see what we think. Uh, you know, kind of go back and forth a little bit. Um, but I would say in terms of kind of full game mechanics that there was a or full distinct game uh, game designs, there was probably three or four, I would want to say. All right, I guess I was 
being overly dramatic with my choice of words there. I want to create some drama. <laughs> Podcast drama. It's the best kind of drama. Yeah, there was probably three or four, and then once once we had a prototype built out, we went through one more big final version. Yeah, we, we basically did a fully functional game on the first um, solid uh, game design that we, we came to. And through that, we basically kind of realized that there were some core elements that just came across still as too confusing. And um, so we did a, a, we spent a very long time figuring out how we could get all the elements that existed in the core design that we loved and yeah. repackage them, basically, in a more mm -hmm. fluid, uh, easy to comprehend uh, fashion. And once we did that, we, we've been pretty much sailing on that, you know, beautiful design since then, so... Yeah, for for the most part, you know, we were talking as of like we had a, a lot of brain trimming sessions. There were mostly like a lot of arguments between Evan <laughs> and myself. Yeah. Like, <laughs> no, because it doesn't matter because this this will just be completely enough and everybody will like it and this is all that people need versus like, <laughs> no, but it's not it but but then the strategy's dead. And we we went through that like yeah. probably 12 or 15 times. Well, it's it's the fun part of Chris and I's relationship is that we we value different things in game in, in game design quite differently than the other. Yeah. So we kind of inherently always end up in these arguments, but it's use it's very useful arguing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. Well, you guys go way back too, so I mean that helps. A few years. Way back. A few terrible years. <laughs> well. But yeah, I mean, so from. From the the initial flaws that we saw from the from the beginning design was more so that people weren't necessarily knowing how they were accruing points, um, and that was an issue. And then we were lending more towards um, a way of uh, getting points based on the letters, based on the the points that were assigned to the letters, very much like Scrabble. We were worried there that it was going to be interpreted much more like a Scrabble game. More than anything else, and that and and we we were also sort of worried that uh, space slash territory wasn't an issue and just control of tiles. Yeah, because you know I think one of the things that we kept arguing about a lot was was the fact that you know all right we were saying this is a Scrabble boggle and risk, you know well a lot of the risk elements weren't initially mixing very well, yeah. and so when we tried to come up with better ways to organize things to respond to that we kind of kept ending up with a game where you know we're trying to portray it as a risk game but the risk elements really don't mean anything and uh you know well, <laughs> that obviously was a problem <laughs> um yeah and then really what the distinction became was more so that we were making a word based strategy game versus a strategy based word game yeah um and you know what the strategy is in the forefront it can be looked over if you really 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 want to uh to a particular extent but we also just found that the the concept of just neutral space is a point of conflict uh regardless because if there's space that you can occupy uh you you basically want to occupy and the way word off essentially works is the more territory you have or the more tiles you control uh, for that matter you essentially have more permutations of words that you can create. So it ended, it, it ended up working really, really, really nicely. Um, and to some extent, we were really happy that we behave as humans as we do in terms of, I see that, I can have it, I want it, so I'm going to have it. Um, to, to a particular extent, it was sort of like a really interesting uh, psychological behavior uh, experiment. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's always good to have multiple reasons that you might want to do something in a game. You know, if you kind of have multiple different avenues, but only really one reason why you would go down any individual one, it doesn't really feel like you have that many choices in the end. You know, the 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 system that is the game design, you know, doesn't make you feel like it's you know uh, an open environment to work in, right? So, you know, as Chris was talking about the the territories. Um, there was definitely a point where um, we had set up the game design 
where you basically wanted to just flat out have way more territory than the other person. And so we got to a point in, in our game design where, you know, in the word off, wherever you would kind of finally meet the other person, the only thing that it seemingly made sense to do was try to build words into their own territory in order to kind of, uh, you know, flip those territories, right? So you're decreasing your opponent's territory count while you're increasing yours. And because that was clearly the best thing to do, once you hit that point, the game was basically just a back and forth over the same space. Yeah. There it was, just was not fun. <laughs> there was there was one gameplay session in particular where we probably spent a good two hours playing, of yep. like nonstop two hours playing, yep. and we were at the same like score base for a while, and it became a matter of luck of what new what new letters are going to show up um, than anything else, and that just was extremely frustrating. Was that was that when you had the prototype working, or was that on the the whiteboard? We had the prototype working at that point. Because yeah. I remember the, the the jump from the whiteboard to the prototype. Yeah, some things got lost in translation, a little bit. Um, I, like the territory thing that never came up in all the, like the the, the going prototypes? back and forth, well, the whiteboard prototypes. Oh yeah, no, the that was in the digital prototypes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, one of the things to also keep in mind that uh, we kind of quickly when we started actually prototyping the game. Um, in code, um, we pretty much quickly narrowed it down to being just a two-player game. Um, when we were playing the game originally, we were largely playing with uh, four players, yeah. um, which definitely provided for a lot of different changes, and it's you know something we're planning on returning to in the future because it's a fun ability to have in the game to yeah. some degree. Um, but uh, I think that's probably a lot of what you're talking about there, Ryan. Yeah, probably. Um, because when there's four players, it's you know there is naturally more things to think about than, uh, you know, kind of that back-and-forth tug of war that Chris and I were just talking about. So, um, I guess, I think now we should talk about, because you mentioned kind of the code and, and building out the prototypes. I mean, this is done in HTML5, mm -hmm. which is cool. <laughs> it's, cool. it's exciting. It's new. It goes everywhere. Yeah. I, that's, that's the part that still blows my mind, is that this game you can play on your iPhone... You can play it on yeah. an Android device. You can play it on a website. You we're, can play it on. We're even just color. talking about playing it on a TV. Right, anywhere there is electricity. <laughs> Seriously, no, you, though. you really have to work that into. I like, will. Oh God, it, it's going to. Yeah, that that I gotta say right now is is one of my favorite parts of this game so far. Is that once we kind of figured out what the theme was, being this kind of you know snarky in your face uh, kind of comic-y feel, Ryan jumped all over it and has been making all these hilarious. You know, ads and you know old, old-fashioned comic strips. You know, updating well, the text with all this hilarious content. It's that was fabulous. after that was after the the big, uh, I mean, facelift to the game really. Mm -hmm. Because I remember it was the week Robin came here. We had everybody saw the prototype. We were kind of poking around with it, and we went to to Lily's queue for lunch that day, and uh, there was a, just a big debate over how to make. Well, that, well, that was when we were at the, the heart of debating what the heck the game should be called. Right, <laughs> right. and then it also had like a, an identity crisis as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, th use, the, use the power of your imagination. But uh, mm -hmm. it was just kind of a simple hex-based tile thing. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, you know, Chris and I are big fans of hard lines. Um, and yeah. we love what they do there with their little, uh, you know, little quote boxes along all the lines with all the little funny comments and jokes and, and all that jazz. And, and I think at one point we had brought that up as a possibility. Um, I don't know. What was it? We, I, I was implementing a email notification stuff. Yeah. yeah. And, and I just kind of tossed in there just on a whim, you know, some like Monty Python one-liner jokes, you know, your, uh, your father smelled of elderberries mm -hmm. and, you know, some little fun stuff like that. And we were talking about that a little bit more and brought up hard lines and how great that is and how much everybody loves that part of that game and basically jess our, our lead artist overheard that and was kind of like oh i had an idea and walked off and then when she came back she had this kind of reskinning entire reskinning of the game that was just fabulous and is uh you know kind of what it looks like now uh, do, do we have updated version of yeah, yeah. Of that look? Uh, well we don't have it's on the blog yeah we don't have like the, the most most updated but, but at least the comic spin yeah. art is up there yeah. somewhere yeah, so that's there's just actually there's never there hasn't been a published photo of the original, <laughs> the original style. It will stay like that. Yeah, it was pretty. I don't scary. know. It might be interesting for the the chronicles of the internet. 
someday uh, somebody will be like, you know, I, I wonder, I wonder what this looked like. <laughs> the first version. Chris makes uh, nice wireframes, but uh, they're, they're not the prettiest thing yeah. known to man. <laughs> I, I tend to stick to grayscale colors. <laughs> So monochromatic. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm monochromatic even today. That's what I'm referring to. It's, it's supposed to be a dramatic podcast, Chris. Come on. I'm yeah. sorry. Drama. <laughs> sorry. Dun, dun, dun. So, yeah, I, I think that covers everything that we did with Word Off, really. I, well, the name. That's kind of funny how that came about, though. <laughs> that was during the Game Jam. Right. Yeah, um, yeah during the Chicago Game Jam. Yeah. It was uh, what, me, Evan, and uh, Colin. Colin. We were all partaking in some of the Game Jam festivities. <laughs> which Actually, we just went to the local grocery store to get some beer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that wasn't really a part of the Game Jam thing. Let's, yeah, we were kind of we kind of like doing the um, the un-Game Jam. What are you talking about? I probably just have an entire game then. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but it wasn't, even, it wasn't even entered. That would have been awesome if you would have been the dark horse and just entered a game. Well, it's because Chris was one of the critics, and it was his game design that I was implementing yeah. for him. Nobody had to so, know that. <laughs> well, yeah. it would have it would have lost anyways. <laughs> That's probably true. Uh, I would just like to point out that it would have lost strictly due to Chris's design and not my implementation. That's right. That's, my that's implementation was flawless. It, it was flawless. <laughs> it worked exactly as as per the design spec and wireframe. That mm-hmm. wireframe actually had color. It did. It was like the first time ever that I got like reds and greens and blues. <laughs> it's amazing. I, I expanded my horizon there. <laughs> well, yeah. So anyway, uh, we were just sitting around laughing, having a good time, and Colin. We we. So the original name for the game was Word Wars. Yeah. Which and we couldn't go with it for some reason, right? No, well, we. It was just more like why? Why would you want to battle with Word? I don't yeah. Know. It was, and also like at the same time, there was another game on the No Color Store that just came out called Word Wars. Yeah, right. So that's, yeah, that's what I thought was the issue. So I, uh, didn't, I didn't like it because of the the military slash yeah. battle list. Well, I I also want to point out that at the beginning, I I had the whole game envisioned as being more kind of military visuals associated with it, which mm-hmm. you know whatever. I guess that's just my <laughs> my interest in games. <laughs> Look I suppose, how well but. that happened. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so you know we were all sitting around a table. Um, Drinking some beers and chatting up our name of our game and, you know, Word Off came up, Ryan. Ryan came up with uh, Word Off and we all had a good laugh. The only reason I take credit for that is because meanings. Colin forgot he came up with it. <laughs> really? And yeah. I probably keep saying you came up with it, which is probably helping Perpetuating me the myth, yeah. 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 I love it, though. <laughs> so we all had a good laugh about the dual meanings and how <laughs> terribly hilarious that was. And then uh, Ryan quickly whipped up this little... Word off intro video, which we sent around and was terribly enjoyable. <laughs> it was awful. It was awful. <laughs> yes, it, it, it took me ten minutes and uh, getting pictures off Facebook of all of our uh, all of our photos. <laughs> yes, namely Chris and I playing yeah. kickball. <laughs> <laughs> that that that'll never see the light of yes, day. Yes, it, it no, won't. Never. I mean, it's on my Facebook page, but that's about as much of. <laughs> The light of day is it was. Oh, really? You put it on Facebook? Well, that, that else, picture. The, the picture. Oh, yeah. The, the picture. Know, whoever not the it. video. No. Be, not the video. That'd yeah. be funny, though. <laughs> no. no, that wouldn't be funny. Yeah, that was uh, that was even before we officially called it Word Off. We just got, we had to decide, so we had to name it because we were talking with uh, Chicago Magazine. We're like, we need we need a name for this game. Finally, is, this, is that what led to the final decision? <laughs> yeah, it really did. We were on deadline. <laughs> we were on deadline. Yeah, it's the only wow. way to get things done. Well, exactly. You know, working so, under pressure, there's, there's value. In so that. then that's word off. Done. Boom. Word off. Yeah. Well, I mean, we came up with word off before Jess went and did the cool new spin on the art. Right. And I yes. think when that happened, everybody kind of decided that word off fit really well. Yeah. You know? yeah. Very, Sassy. Very serendipitous oh, yeah. Yeah. events. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love how that all works out in the end. It does. Indeed does. So it's coming out soon. Soon. Soonish. <laughs> when it's yeah. done. When it's yeah. done. That's right. I like that line. Pretty much done. We're going to have another fun beta build tomorrow. I know. I, I can't wait to get more people in on this. And yeah. We mm-hmm. did one big beta, earlier beta test. I don't know if you even call it beta. but We might have to go down to the wormhole coffee shop and just oh, yeah. jump, on, do that. jump on some mm. surprise gaming. Some people. Surprise mm-hmm. game. Mm-hmm. I love it. Um, if you're interested in the 
word off beta and want to annoy uh, Evan because he would have to download a new mobile programming uh, profile every single time I add a device. No, no, there's, uh, there's a website. I don't have to be involved in the website. Right. But I have to add it for you and you have to download that no. new version. No, 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 no. Oh, the website version. I'm sorry. But no. that, doesn't, that doesn't have yeah. the most updated graphics. No, yeah. it will tomorrow. It will. Oh, it, it will? will? It will tomorrow. Oh, but, my gosh. But if you have an iOS device, I... I beg you to <laughs> to want to sign up so You're that I can have Evan probably re-download a yeah. uh, file and yeah. build a new uh, IPA about seven mm-hmm. or ten times throughout the day. That's it. Wow, oh. that's better than last time. So I think I think we should leave <laughs> off with that then. So if you want to get on on that action to to make somebody's day miserable, um, yeah, yeah. To be specific, basically, if you know you use the Chrome <laughs> web browser. Uh, you can play this game, um, and if you have any type of uh, eye device, an iPad Touch, an iPhone, uh, and a, uh, sorry, uh, what did I say? iPod Touch, that's what yeah. I say, or an iPad. Uh, be sure to hit us up, and uh, we'd be more than happy to uh, let you uh, beta test our game with us. And you would find us at Toy Studio Games on Twitter, Facebook dot com backslash forward slash. Damn it, I do that all the time. Yeah, well. Toy slash <laughs> Toy Studio Games. <laughs> or just ToyStudio.com. ToyStudio.com. Also, mm. community at ToyStudio.com as well. That's a lot of Toy Studioing. Indeed. Anything else? Anything else we should leave off with this Word Off podcast? Um, no. <laughs> no? That was, that was, okay, we're, we're doing this again. Anything else we're leaving <laughs> off with this Word Off podcast? Um, word Off is awesome, and we would love anybody's input we would be happy to share. That's a better ending. Yeah, see, so, that's that's right. why you should talk to me instead of Chris. <laughs> yeah. Christian, you're off the podcast. Okay. And with that, we're leaving. So thanks for listening. Good day.